If you clicked on this video, I already know a lot about you. You want to be successful, but wanting to be successful is not enough to actually make this happen because the odds are you're like everybody else. You have blind spots. I have blind spots. My mentor has blind spots. Almost every human has blind spots and I will never claim to be perfect. But in this video, I'm going to call out your blind spots that you likely have not acknowledged deeply enough and internalized enough to really get you to the next level of your life. So I'm going to challenge you to ignore the impulses that your subconscious is going to throw at you to go stimulate yourself on another app. This is a test, a challenge to see if you can actually master these impulses because this is one of the first things that is prohibiting you from living the life that you want to live. The first reason why you won't succeed, your dopamine receptors are fried. Now, if you're like everybody else on the fucking planet, including myself sometimes when I don't be mindful, when I'm not as absolutely conscious as I can be, I start scrolling. I hop from Instagram to TikTok to Snapchat. If you're just like a normal human, this happens often. And a lot of people will tell me they don't have the time to do X, Y, Z. Oh, I wish I could. I work a job. I go to school. And then I say, okay, well, you don't have enough time. That's your excuse. Let me see your screen time. And almost every single time, two, three, four, five hours. So after this video, I'd like to see your screen time as well. I'd like you to comment your screen time in the comments below and see what everyone else's screen time is. And I want everyone to be brutally honest with each other because this is a fucking pandemic that we are dealing with right now. People's inability to focus, inability to discipline themselves, inability to restore their dopamine receptors to where, they, where the homeostasis of them is, the normal levels. Right now we're getting absolutely probed by everything. Me and my girlfriend were watching a movie the other day. We, we saw the only thing they had to do was play cards and talk. And we're like, how nice would that be? when your dopamine receptors aren't absolutely fucked and you can actually get excited about things that should be exciting, like kissing someone, hugging someone. Those things would absolutely set your dopamine receptors on fire if we didn't live in a world full of instant gratification and scrolling. Ultimately, these things are pleasurable, but they are never going to be fulfilling. You cannot mistake the two if you want to be successful. Pleasure and fulfillment, absolutely two different things. A man who lacks purpose distracts himself with pleasure. And that takes me into number two. You must be a man or a woman driven by purpose. You likely don't know your purpose and that's okay because you're probably pretty young. But when you're choosing what to do with your life, when you're choosing your actions, your habits every single day and your tendencies, ask yourself, what is the driver behind my desire? Is it to fulfill something that's bigger than me? To fulfill a purpose that helps more than just my bank account? Is it to create a legacy for myself? Because if it's not coming from a place where you're like, okay, this is for the greater good of mankind, you're likely doing it for the greater good of your wallets, which I don't want to say is a bad thing. Obviously, we all need money. We all need to protect ourselves. But the only way to create long-term sustainable wealth is by having these intentions. And that takes me into step number three. You are afraid of real growth. You are afraid of outgrowing your friends. You're afraid of outgrowing your parents. You're afraid of leaving your town. And I get it. I totally understand. You've lived there your whole life. You're entirely comfortable. I understand why you wouldn't want to leave. I understand maybe you don't have enough money. Maybe you do have enough money, but just barely enough. Let me tell you a story. I was 20 years old. I had my first $20,000 a month. The months prior, I was making two, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 tops. I got a mentor. He cost $2,000 and I had $2,500 at the time and I spent my last $2,000 investing into my mentor. You know why? Because the worst case scenario is I lose $2,000, whatever, I'm fucking young, I'll make it back. The best case scenario, well, I learn the things that I need to to get me to the next level. So I took the risk, I believed in myself, I believed in my mentor because I trusted him and I had my first $20,000 a month doing what I loved, which was working one-on-one -on -one with people. So I had a 20, it was $28,000 to be absolutely specific. And then I said, okay, well now I need to keep up this momentum. I need to get out of my hometown. I need to get somewhere incredibly fast paced to keep up the momentum somewhere in an environment that will make me grow. Because there's a good quote that goes, would you rather be a big fish in a small pond or a small fish in a big pond? And you never want to be the big fish in the small pond because you always want to be surrounded by people that know more than you, that humble you. So that was when I decided to move to Miami with $25,000 to my name. I, I was petrified. I got to Miami and I remember Abe picked us up. Abe picked me and my friend Ty up to go to dinner and I'm sitting there with 20 grand in my bank account. I'm like, bro, like what if business slows down? What if I don't have the money to pay the rent next month? You know, obviously all these what ifs were eating me alive and I just got a new car as well. So that was $1,100 a month on top of my $2,500 a month rent. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, bro, like, holy shit. 
you know, but it was this pressure that allowed me to really experience growth. So if you're contemplating moving out, dropping out, you're wasting time by just not, not pulling the trigger. The, the difference between me and the average person I would think is because when I get these impulses, when I get these intuitive feelings, I don't question myself. I wanted to drop out of college, I did it. I wanted to move out of Miami, or I wanted to move to Miami, I did it. I wanted a new car, I did it. I have absolute faith in myself, and I am not going to let fear dictate my decisions. You don't have to be fearless, you just can't let fear stop you. Obviously your rational brain, your subconscious is always gonna come in and try to keep you safe, keep you small-minded. But you have to conquer your fear. You have to conquer your mind. Send it, get out of your hometown. Connect with someone inside of Create Reality. Get a fucking crib in Miami. It's When you get it too bad, it's like two grand a person at most. You can find them for cheaper. And once you're here, and once you realize, okay, no one's gonna buy my groceries, no one's gonna pay my rent, it's all on me. It unlocks a different part of you, a warrior in you. And this takes me to step number four. You aren't really living. You wake up every day, you do the same things, you think the same things, and this is the biggest one, you think the same things every day, just in a different version. You aren't expanding your brain nearly enough at the, at the pace it's capable of. You should be reading every day, you should be watching YouTube videos every single day that deserve your absolute attention and focus. When I was in your phase of life, when I was trying to get to the next level, I only had TikTok to post. I didn't have Snapchat, I didn't have Twitter, all I had were TikTok and Instagram and I posted on them to grow a following because I knew if I created a personal brand, I created trust with people, I could then one day create an actual brand around it. And here I am, living proof of it. You have to realize that you are a warrior. If you are a young man or a young woman, you are a fucking warrior. This is why they're trying to soften and sensitize all young people and saying, I just saw some shit on Twitter yesterday saying that James Cameron said that testosterone is a sickening chemical or some shit and we need to get rid of it on the world. If it wasn't for testosterone, nothing would be the same. Nothing would be here if it wasn't for testosterone in itself. You need to admire the fact, acknowledge the fact, internalize the fact that you are one of the most powerful humans on earth if you live up to your potential. The Romans, the Greeks, was run by men our age that were absolutely tapped into their potential absolutely shredded to the bone and strong, stoic. But now we have 20 year olds that are just addicted to vapes, doll pacifiers, going out every weekend and living no life of purpose. You are literally the age of a warrior. You are a warrior and you need to unlock that mindset within yourself. It's incredibly simple. You just need to be mindful. Ask yourself, what am I living? How am I living today? Am I going to the gym and when I'm at the gym, am I really training like a warrior? Am I learning like a warrior? Am I mastering my emotions like a stoic? You need to be living like you are fucking Marcus Aurelius and Zeus in one. And then the money will follow such a, a figure to look up to. And when people can look up to you, the money comes to you naturally through the universe, through the abundance vortex.